kudos to um, The Rock for not risking his reputation for endorsing him. Glor Glorilla won't endorse him. Cardi B came out and said, this lettuce is $7. What the? <laughs> like, she went off. Like, nobody. He is not going to get anybody with any kind of career, any kind of sense, or any kind of anything to say we support him like oh my god I, like we said i think people are starting to have a change of heart one of those people mm -hmm. is dwayne the rock johnson <laughs> uh, so as we guys as you guys know the rock came out in the last election and endorsed biden uh for 2016. Mm -hmm. uh he endorsed him no 2020 2020, 2020. 2020, yeah. 2020, he endorsed Biden. Um, and recently he was being interviewed on Fox News and he's had a change of heart. Uh, so take a look at this. Um, this is him. And this is also the view. We, we're going to respond to the view uh, going crazy behind his comment. So this is what he said. Do I believe we're going to get better? I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy, and I, I believe we can get better. The endorsement that I made uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. He said, hell no. no. Ah, hell no, no, no. no. <laughs> Back then was something that tears me up in my guts. Back then and now, which is division. So a couple of trends. First of all, should... <laughs> oh, yeah. No. So if somebody see these people don't like free will, they don't like people to make their up their own minds. You know, it, but let's see what they say. Come on. <laughs> Maybe they're not as relatives. <laughs> yeah. So the question, first of all, should I pay any attention to Gibbs, who gives an interview on Fox where they lie every day? So oh. that didn't even make oh. sense. How is Fox News lying when the man said it out that's his own a, mouth? That's it's a cop out. out. She doesn't know what to say to the rock. That's what yeah, she, doesn't, she doesn't know. But he, listen to this. This is sunny or gloomy uh, talking about it. <laughs> all, right, all right, here we go. <clears throat> I and I think, and, you know, he's he's been quite political. I agree yeah. with you. Um, and, and he's been very engaged and very involved. I do think we're living in a time where um, we have someone running for president that is an existential threat to democracy. Yeah, right? oh, yeah like your boy. Like, like Biden. Someone who has been, has 88, you know, criminal charges uh, for indictments, someone that has vowed to be a dictator on the very first what day. What are you talking office. about? Now is the time. If you have a platform, you must be active. You must speak out. So I want to get you guys' response to that. This is the line, I guess. This is the Democrat line now. He's a threat to democracy. And yes. They've they been their line. They are afraid. Day. They are very afraid. That's it. That's all you need to know. So they are going to come out with all the demagoguery, all the propaganda, all the fear mongering, anything they are going to throw at this at this uh, election to try to get people afraid to not and, and not vote for Trump. Yeah, Crystal. I mean, who is who is believing this line now? You can tell it's scripted. It's no thought behind it. There's no facts. There's no numbers. They just say this over and over again. Let me tell you, they have a demographic, but we are just going to have to tune them out because she's saying the irony of her saying that he's um, that Fox News is lying, and she literally just lied. He said that he's going to be a dictator on day one. He did not say that, and she knows he didn't say it's so dishonest. The fact is, your boy is losing like nobody with their right mind so good kudos to um the rock for not risking his reputation for endorsing him Glor glorilla won't endorse him cardi b came out and said this lettuce is seven dollars what the like, she went off like nobody he is not going to get anybody with any kind of career any kind of sense or any kind of anything to say we support him like oh my gosh headline news just came across 
Hunter Biden fails to endorse Biden because the price of crack has increased. Ah! There it is. His own son won't even endorse him. Here we Look, go. Like Crystal said, all those celebrities, let's add Charlemagne to God. And yep. then with, with Charlemagne comes a lot of black people who follow him. They, they are afraid. That's what I'm going to keep saying. They are very afraid. Now, let me make this point. The Rock did not come out and say that he was going to vote for Trump. He didn't say he was going to vote against them either. So, mm -hmm. he, you know, the, the Rock knows that the, the last time he, he's taken some hits for his endorsement. But the Rock, guess what? The Rock likes money. Yep. And he does not want to offend his uh, supporters, the people who go to see him in the movies or whatever. The Rock likes to see the green keep coming. Yeah. Yana, yeah. so, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, I'm glad that The Rock finally is, you know, speaking like a man and <laughs> <laughs> grew, grew some balls. I mean, I can't believe he endorsed Biden in the past. That's just embarrassing. And I'm, and I'm glad that he is realizing it. Um, the view, I mean, it's the same kind of, they think that if they repeat the same phrase, the same word over and over, you know, it becomes true. That's that's just their tactic, and it's a very uh, like you know they're speaking to like the dumbest masses mm -hmm. who are just uh, you know people are hypnotized, and that's when you when you talk to the left people on the left like why what's wrong with Trump? Oh, he's racist. He is a dictator, and and then they can't give a single example. Exactly. Of that. Exactly. Exactly. And and like we said, I mean, it's Biden who is the big dictator and his own party is talking about it. We talked about this on Wednesday, how RFK Jr. came out and said how Biden and it was proven in court, the Biden and Biden administration infringed upon their his First Amendment rights. Yep. I mean, and this 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 Biden and the DOJ have, have gone after parents for speaking out at PTA meetings. I mean, the list goes on and, and, and no telling what would happen. And I'm not even I mean, I'm telling you, there's proof to this, not just like Sonny and them saying Trump is a dictator with no proof. The Biden administration is actively trying to stop, take away our, our gun rights. Exactly. I mean, they're trying to ban guns. No telling what would happen if he gets another four years. Gun yeah, rights, what J, uh, J Sixers, like you said, the free speech with RFK. You not even to mention the economic poverty that people are in, even more. And I mean, just your average American who was able to just, you know, like you said, work one job. Maybe if they wanted to work an extra job for overtime for extra money, fine. But now that's like they have to. Yeah. You know, bacon, eggs are skyrocketing. Don't mess with America's fo Americans' food, okay? Yeah. You know, you can't buy a couple of loaves of bread, some milk, eggs, or whatever. You got a problem. And yes. what did we go through during the whole COVID fiasco where everyone was being called, you know, disinformationist? Like we were blocked everywhere. You know, we couldn't speak our minds. Right. So, I mean, who is the dictator? We lived through real dictatorship in uh, 2020, 2021, and part of 2022. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I heard Andrew Tate actually say that they're changing our normal. You remember normal mm -hmm. used to be, you know, one one person worked and you could afford a house. Then then normal became two people worked and you know, you can, you know, you can bear, you know, you can, you can um, make ends meet and you can afford a house. Now the new normal is, is two people work and you still can't afford the house. And that's right. very normal. And they're normal. It's going to keep going that way until we're eating the bugs. We own nothing right. and we be happy. And unfortunately, if we don't get our head out of the clouds, as Marjorie Taylor Green said, and stop and actually take take a chance to pay attention like this man is going to ruin our country yeah yeah, yeah it was on the, I, don't, I was looking for the lady's name but it was all over the news some woman who was at the j6 uh uh, uh, uh rally she did go into the Capitol, and there is video of, I, she just walked in oh. i mean but she didn't she wasn't you know, she doesn't vandalize anything. She was not violent. She's like a grandmother. Yeah. And they're saying that she's up for, I think it's like at least 10 years in prison. 
um, yeah. for just going inside the Capitol at, at this thing. I, I, I was looking for her name. I, um, I saw it. I Rachel, saw it. Rachel Plow? Was it? I think that might be. I think Who that might be it? Rachel. Oh, okay. Rachel Powell. Rachel Powell. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I don't even know if this is her because this was an old elderly lady. Um, she had. She just, it wasn't Rachel Powell. It was another lady. And okay. it broke my heart because she was just basically crying, saying that these. Oh, is this are the in my life? Is this a praying grandmother? Yeah, yes. the praying mother. Yeah, praying, the praying grandma. grandma. Okay. And she, and we're just trying to ruin our like like why would you want to do that to our citizens? First of all, it's the Capitol is our building. That's yes. that's the people's house. We can go in there anytime we want to go yes. in there. Uh, uh, her name yes. is Rebecca Rebecca Levrins. Yeah, I think uh, that she, is her. Yep, she and they showed her four, four mm -hmm. misdemeanor counts. Right. Okay. Uh, and but it, I, I think it's like a up to ten years in prison or something crazy when I look right. at it. Yeah, um, and, and the fact did, that the doors were just open, we have so much evidence already now that the doors were just open. I'm pretty sure this lady did not break any doors uh, to no, go in there. So if the doors were open and people were walking in, I mean, anyone, almost anyone could have wandered in there. So, I mean, that's what the Democrats, the way that they're responding to all this it is dictatorship. Like we're li literally living in dictatorship right now. And they're pretending like the Republicans are the dictators. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. And, I, and I'm praying for our January 6th patriots because like, why, why would you want to do, why would a country want to do that to its own citizens? Like those are some of the like most law abiding citizens, tax paying citizens, like some of them never been in trouble before in their life. It like breaks my heart. And our, our constitution they are, they are actually, prisoners. right, exactly. And our constitution actually tells that, you know, you have the duty to, to fight tyranny. Yes. So when these people came out and they felt like, you know, there was tyranny in the country, they were exercising their right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's um she says she was in there for 10 minutes. Um she went in there to pray. She's um from Colorado Springs, Colorado, mm -hmm. 70 something years old. Um and and she's she's facing jail time, guys. This is yeah. this is who they're they're calling Trump a dictator and, this, and the Biden administration is giving jail time to grandmas for just walking into the Capitol. Yeah, yeah, and it's not yeah, even the fact that she, there's been many. Yeah, yeah, it's not even the fact that she's a grandmother. Like, I mean, like e even if she like the white men that have been just like completely like demonized, like just because they were supporting their candidate. Like you, I'm sorry, newsflash, demon crats, you are allowed to say I don't agree with this crappy phony election. This the Constitution allows. I don't care. You don't have to like it. And yes, they are allowed to go up to the Capitol. And yes, you do not get three misdemeanors for behaving badly. That's this all. This is why. Yeah, this is why when Trump says that they're coming after me, but they're really coming after all of you. Mm -hmm. I'm just the, the you know the main one, the face of it all. But they're going at the message to Trump voters or Trump supporters is that this can happen to you when we are in charge. Just because we don't like you, remember we're deplorable. You know we, we are we are uh, misogynistic. We are haters and transphobic. All of these labels, these these demonizing or um, um, degrading labels that they place on Trump voters. This this is all part of the psychology to prepare, quote unquote, to prepare us to be political prisoners in our own country. And that's why this transcends political parties. This right. is about freedom. Yeah, this, exactly. is a, this is what we talk about here all the time. This is literally about freedom. Exactly. And if people don't get it, you are you're voting for your own demise to vote for Biden. Yep. I mean, I can I don't understand how you can it can be said and seen more any clearer. I